Okay, moving on to the next team in the ACC that I'll be going over today. This is the team that I have projected to finish in 14th place uh, in the ACC, and that would be Jim Christian and his Boston College Eagles. And it's crazy because this is Jim Christian's now seventh year as the head coach of Boston College. And I do believe that if Boston College does not show at least a little some signs of improvement, there is a legitimate chance that this will be Jim Christian's last year as the head coach of Boston College. And I do think there is some reasons for optimism with this BC team. You start off looking at the backcourt, Jay Heath and Winston Tabs. That is going to be one of the better backcourts in the ACC, as crazy as that sounds. I really like Jay Heath. He was really impressive as a freshman last year. I love his game. He averaged 13 points, about 3.4 rebounds per game, and about two assists per game last year. I think in a more expanded role this year with an under, another year under his belt, playing for Jim Christian, he'll be even better. They also bring in Winston Tabs, the guy, redshirt sophomore. He is 6'2", and he actually missed all of last season with an injury. But during his freshman year, he averaged about 14 points, 4 rebounds, and 2.5 assists per game but the question ultimately for this Boston College team is what else do they have and I feel like Boston College they have a chance to be okay this year they have a chance to be better than people expected and that's if the newcomers adjust quickly to the caliber of competition and having a backcourt of Winston Tabs and Jay Heath healthy maybe they could ascend towards an all-conference level maybe Boston College could sneak into the belt bubble picture with that upside but the problem is the downside is also considerably low though if health concerns plague the boston college eagles and these transfers just don't work out and jim christian kind of just realizes wow what was i doing taking literally every single transfer in college basketball to come to my team then i think things could possibly fall apart for this boston college team pretty quickly but at the same time Jim Christian, a lot is going to be on him because he did bring in a lot of new players in order for this Boston College team to improve. You look at all the transfers. You start off, Makai Ashton Langford, the transfer from Providence. And he's weird because he is actually a former top 100 recruit, really a top 30 recruit. Uh, he was recruited to play for Ed Cooley at Providence. And to say it didn't work out right there, that's an understatement. He just had no business being on really the same floor of any of the same players for Providence. And really, I think Boston College took him here just all based on upside. And I feel like it's going to be interesting to see if he gets a legitimate chance to play. Because on one hand, I want to say, yeah, he will. And he'll be their starting point guard. And he'll play in that backcourt with Tabs and Jay Heath. And it'll be super dynamic. But at the same time, he was really disappointing at Providence last year. Like, I'm not trying to oversell this. He was a negative to that team and I feel like Ed Cooley's team this season is just going to be better without him but at the same time Boston College is a team where they're just going to take as much talent as they get especially if it's former top 40 recruit talent so I'm curious to see if his talent actually just plays out in this Providence backcourt competing against some guys that are a little bit more experienced but at the same time he just has played in more, much more higher levels of basketball than on the AAU level and in the high school surface. They bring in uh, Rich Kelly, the transfer from Quinnipiac. He averaged 16.7 points per game, 2.5 rebounds per game, and 4.5 assists per game last season with the Bobcats. He was really impressive, and I find it weird that all of a sudden the Boston College Eagles would decide to bring in Rich Kelly when really they already had their grad transfer guard in Makai Ashton Langford. That really just tells me that Jim Christian is not very confident at all in the direction of his program being led by Makai Ashton Langford. They also bring in DeMar, uh, DeMar Langford Jr. The 6'5 freshman, I could see him as a guard and someone that makes a significant impact for this Boston College team. And Frederick Scott, the 6'8 redshirt senior from Ryder, he averaged 12.6 points per game, 5.2 rebounds per game, and about half an assist per game with, uh, during uh, last season with Ryder. And they also bring in some returners, C.J. Felder, 6'7 sophomore, he averaged 5.6 points per game and 4 rebounds per game. And they even lose some guys as well, including Derek Thornton, Jared Hamilton, Jarius Hamilton, Nick Popovich. These are all guys that were pretty talented and were contributors for last year's Boston College Eagle team, which flat out wasn't very good. And I feel like this is going to be a big season for Jim Christian, because if you look at it, over the past couple of seasons, Boston College, I totally understand. They've been bitten by the injury bug, and they've had bad luck with players leaving early for the NBA. All of those points are fair, but at the same time, 
last year, listen to the stat. These were all the games missed by Boston College players last year because of injury. Winston Tabs, top guard, one of the best players on the team, was really expected to break out this season for the Boston College Eagles. He missed 32 games last year. Nick Popovich, 12 games last year. Jarius Hamilton, 8 games. Jared Hamilton, 7 games. Derek Thornton, 3 games. Uh, Stephon Mitchell missed one, and C.J. Felder also missed one as well. So those were a lot of guys that were super impactful for this Boston College Eagle team. And this season, at least Jim Christian did a good job bringing in talent. I just question his ability to manage it and find chemistry and cohesion through this offense and defense with all of these different talented players. And this season, B.C., should hopefully be healthy. Hopefully they'll be a little more healthier. And he, once again, brought in four grad transfers. That's really a role that you rarely see. And he's only going to be playing three because of Rich Kelly, Frederick Scott, and James Carnick, the grad transfer from Lehigh. I have him projected to be one of the starting big men for this Boston College team. But at the same time, when you look at this Boston College Eagle team with those three grad transfers, and then Makai Ashton Langford, the sit-out transfer, DeMar Langford, uh, the freshman guard, I just don't trust Jim Christian's ability to coach all these guys up and develop the same chemistry that a successful team needs to win. Um, Boston College has never really shown me under Jim Christian that they could improve and that they could finish better than expected and make an NCAA tournament. So with that being said, I'm going to have BC as my team that finishes 14 in the ACC. And the talent level just isn't as high as some of the other teams in this conference. Even though I do think you can make an argument that, okay, maybe this Boston College team on paper and or by season's end is better than last year's team. If you want to make that argument, that's fine. But I do also think the rest of the ACC, especially in this tier, has gotten better. I do think you can make the argument Virginia Tech has gotten better. Clemson's gotten better. Georgia Tech has gotten better. Syracuse has gotten better. Miami has definitely gotten better. And to be honest, I just don't know if I could put a team like BC in the same uh, tier as some of those teams. So I have BC coming in 14th. They have a lot of talent and their ceiling is eh, somewhat high behind tabs and behind the play of Jay Heath. <clears throat> Excuse me. So at the same time, it's going to be a very interesting season for Boston College. I have them coming in 14th. It's going to be a really big season for Jim Christian if they don't show at least some signs of improvement. I could definitely see him being let go.